okay in this video we are going to learn the step by step process of drawing aoa network diagram right in my first video i have shown you the do's and don'ts of drawing activities in aoa diagram now the what we require is a very nice sharp pencil and a rubber in case we had to re do the diagram or rearrange the diagram we require an eraser not rubber eraser okay so we'll we'll take one example this is the example which we are going to use so first let us understand this particular example we have activities a b c d up to k there is precedence requirement or precedent activity is given that means for example b activity can only start once a is finished that is what the this preceding activity means for example activity g can only start when c and d are finished like this also there are certain activities which do not require any other activity to start so that means what activity a and c are we can start the project from either a or c because we don't have to depend on any other activity for starting these activities so this can be our starting activities and the third column gives you the number of weeks which we require these are all in weeks so this is the table so first we are going to concentrate on the first two particular columns and we start our diagram so let me just use a fresh page here and normally we should start you can use it in a landscape mode right you can start the drawing from the middle of the paper go in both directions and then try to come back in the middle that is the best way of doing it right so this is let us start with the first activity so the first activity is a so i am starting in the middle you can start with a as well as c so my start i will use one arrow i will not complete the arrow i'll just start the arrow and write here a then start another direction and write here c so i have done a and c now for b i have to end the activity a and start b so what i can do here also when i am swing doing that i have to see down okay there is one more activity which is also in you know which requires a to end we and that activity will start that is e so what i can do i can end this activity a and i can bring two arrows from it out one can be b and other can be e right why because i know that there are two different activities which depend on a or which are starting after a so i have done b i have done e now d activity is after b so i will use i will start from b and maybe i'll start activity d here whenever i start i then i can finish this activity by doing the arrow so i have come up to d right now f f is starting after b so my b is there so again b and b is you know uh, you know giving rise to two activities d and f so i can write f here right then g activity requires c and d right so my c is here and my d is here now it is very difficult to bring them together so what i should have done i should have brought b in the down and e up which will make and also d down and f up up so i will have realized my requirement of rearranging so i am quickly doing it this entire thing i will erase i will roughly erase it right and this will become my b activity right and 
here I will have F activity going up and D activity coming down and this will be my from A to uh, the other activity was starting was E. So I have quickly rearranged right I can cross check whether I have done it right. So A say E is starting right and B is starting so correct from B D is starting as well as F is starting correct. Now G is starting from C and D. So somewhere C and D can come together. So maybe I will extend it further. Okay. And from there my G will start. So I can just simply connect this. So this is my C. This is my D. And my G is starting from here. Right. G is starting from C and D. Now, H is starting from G and F. So, my G is here, F is here. Right. So, and from there, H is starting. So, let me just take my G little bit up. Somewhere here. Right. Right. And from there, this F I can connect. So, if I am in a hurry, I can do like this. One bend is allowed. But I will try to even that avoid that. As far as possible let me have a straight line. So I can show this as here as F. This G and G and F will give rise to H. Right. So I have come up to this. Now I is from B and E. So my B is here. E is here. So from here suppose I want to start my I. But then the logic says that I cannot start I unless B is also finished. So for B and E both I will show a dummy activity because there is no other way I can connect I and B. I cannot start from here because then E will remain here separate. So now this dummy activity is a must here because I requires E and B to finish. Right. So I is done. So this is how the dummy activity comes into existence. Now J is from H and I. So this H and I, I can again connect maybe through a bend. But I will, I will again as far as possible avoid bend. So do this. I will just use directly this will be my I right and this is my H and H and I gives rise to J right so I am going to put J here right and last activity is K which is emerging from so this is my J and my last activity is K Right. So this is how I have drawn my network diagram. Right. Right from starting from this node and ending here. I can give quickly give the numbers to the nodes like 1. Right. 2. Doesn't matter. Uh, you know you follow a different way. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So this is how I have given my numbers. Correct. So this is my AOA network diagram. In our next video we are going to see how to calculate the timings.